In this video, we'll be going through the process to add a collection list and a featured collection to your Shopify homepage. First, we'll go over how to add a featured collection, which is a section that will display all the products in a selected collection. We will also go over how to add a collection list where you can display up to 16 different collections. So let's head over to Shopify and go over how to add a collection list and a featured collection to your homepage. If you haven't joined Shopify yet, Make sure you unlock your free trial by heading over to jasongandy.info or simply click the link in the video description. So once you get to Shopify, go ahead and log in. This should take you to your Shopify account dashboard. To customize your theme, let's start by clicking the online store tab from the menu on the left hand side. This should take you to the Shopify themes menu. For this demonstration, I'll be using the popular Dawn theme. So to customize my theme, let's look at the bottom right hand side here and click the customize button. This will take you over to the Shopify theme editor. So from your theme editor, if you look at the template menu on the left, you should see a tab at the bottom that says add section. Let's click that now. This will open up a window where you can view all the different sections that are available for your theme. Since I wanna add a featured collection, let's find and select featured collection from the list here. And the featured collection tab should be added to the menu on the left and you should be able to see a preview of the featured collection on the right. This is simply a default preview since we haven't updated the content yet. So let's go over how to select the featured collection for my store. From the menu on the left, let's go ahead and click the featured collections tab. This will open up a menu where I can add all of the details for my featured collection and select the collection that I want to display. In the top text box here, you can add your heading. For my featured collection, I'm going to add my hats and beanies collection so let's add that to my heading. Underneath your heading field, you can also select your heading size. You have the option to select from a small, medium, or large heading, so select the one that best fits your store. Next, you also have a field here where you can add a description of your featured collection. Feel free to describe your collection and try to use copywriting that will make customers actually want to click. As you add your text, you'll notice it also appear on the preview on the right. Also, if you need help writing your description or anything else on Shopify, they now have an AI writing assistant that you can access by clicking the icon here. Simply describe what you want to write and the AI will instantly do it for you. Once you add your description, you can then go down and select your description style. You can select from body, subtitle, or uppercase, so select the one that best matches your store. And finally, in the next section here, we can select the collection that we want to use. So let's click the select collection button here. This will open up a menu where you can view all of the collections that you've created on Shopify and where you can create a new collection if you like as well. But for this example, I'm going to select my hats, beanies, and visors collection. When you select a collection, you'll notice it appear in the preview on the right. So now that I've added my hats, beanies, and visors collection as my featured collection, let's go down to the bottom here and click the select button. If we take a look at the next setting here, you can select the maximum number of products to show in your collection. The default setting is 4, but feel free to use the slider bar here to change the number of products that are shown. For my featured collection, I think I'll stick with 4 products. Underneath this, there's also a slider bar where you can select the number of columns to display. If I select 2 columns for example, only 2 products will be shown in each row. But for my store, I want all 4 products to be shown on the same row. So that means I need four columns. If you have more products in your featured collection that isn't shown on your homepage, you can also click the checkbox here to enable the view all button. You can also select your button style, including an outline button, a solid button, or simply the link. I think I'm gonna go with the solid button. You can also enable a carousel on desktop, select a different color scheme, and if you keep scrolling down, you'll see other options here such as to show the product rating, and to show a second image when hovering. This is a cool effect if you have multiple images uploaded for your products. Also, from the image style drop down menu, you have several styles here that you can select to use for your product images. So take your time and check out all the options and feel free to edit your featured collection as much as you like. Once you're finished, let's click the back button up top and go back to the theme editor main menu. And my featured collection has been customized and added to my theme. But before we continue, I also want to add a collection list underneath my featured collection so customers can see all of the collections that I have. To add a collection list, let's go down to the template menu and click the add section tab. 
from the window here. Let's check out the various sections and select collection list. I should now see the collection list tab in the menu on the left and a default collection list section in my preview on the right. If I click the collection list main tab here, it'll open up a menu where we can personalize our collection list. In the top box here, go ahead and add a heading for your collection list. Next, you can select your heading size. You can also select your number of columns, your color scheme, and other options here. But for my collection list, I'm just going to roll with this. So let's click the back button up top here and go back to the theme editor main menu. Now that I've customized my collection list, let's add my collections. From the collection list drop down menu on the left, you'll notice several collection tabs here. To add my first collection, let's click the top collection tab. From here, simply click the select collection button and you'll be taken to a menu where you can view your collections or create a new collection if you like. When you select the collection that you want to add, you'll see it appear on your preview on the right. So once you've added your collection, go ahead and click the select button at the bottom. I can then click the back button up top and go back to the theme editor. You can now go through the same process for the other collection tabs here. I'm going to add my clothing and apparel collection, my hats, beanies, and visors collection, and my home and living collection. There we go. And all three of my collections have been added to my collection list. If you had another collection you wanted to display, you can add it by clicking the add collection tab here. But for my store, I currently only have three collections, so I'm just going to roll with this. So we've just finished adding a featured collection and a collection list to our Shopify homepage. Using the icons up top here, we can check the various devices and make sure our collection list and our featured collection looks good on both mobile and on desktop. Not bad. I think that'll work. So if everything looks good and you're finished customizing your sections, make sure you go up to the top right and click the save button. And the changes to my Shopify theme have been saved. So that's a quick overview of how to add a featured collection and a collection list to your Shopify homepage. If you enjoyed this video, then you'll definitely want to check out the full Shopify Don theme customization tutorial, which you can view by clicking the video on the screen here. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.